hello everyone so today i want to look at this module which is touch.nn dot multi head attention and it takes some argument for example the embedding dimension number of heads and also we are going to say bias is true so for this example um, we are going to have just one batch and also the number of heads is one just to make it easy to understand and the attention formula is something like this the soft max of query multiplied by the transpose of the key divided by the square root of e embedding dimension this one and multiplied by v okay so let's take an example say i am good and also the tensor representation of it the uh, tensor representation of i for example say it is 0 0.2 0 0.1 for am is 0 0.9 0 0.4 for good it is 0 0.7 0 0.8 so the uh, dimension of it the input this is the input it is 3 by 2 so <clears throat> the e dimension of this say e is two so each word has a dimension of two and the sequence length number of words is three so this is like the same as l by e okay so at the beginning these are like your uh, this is like your key query and value so you need to compute the new key 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 query and values all right so to do that we need to compute like the new key query and the values so pytorch what it does it's like creates random weights and also random biases and the dimension of this random weight is uh, the random weight is 3 times e by e which is the same as like uh, 6 by 2 similarly for this it creates like a random bias of dimension 3 times e by 1 which is 6 by 1 so let's try to visualize this the w is uh, something like this So the first part of the W is the way to compute the new key. The second part of the W is the way to compute the new query. The third part of the W is the way to compute the new V. And each of them has a dimension of E by E. Or in other words, 2 by 2. This is 2 by 2. 2 by 2. Alright. So the bias similarly say it is uh, something like this the the first part of the bias is actually the bias to compute the new key the second part is the bias to compute the new query the third part is the bias to compute the new value and each of them has a dimension of e by one in other words two by one Two by one so the new key is something like this you take your input this your input uh, you multiply it by the weight of the key you add, you add it with the bias of the key so this is the way to compute the new key dimension of this input uh, is this and the dimension of the weight of the key is 2 by 2 e by e right but we are going to take the transpose just to make the dimensions so the dimensions too much you add it with uh, 2 by 1 bias of the key is 2 by 1 we are also going to take the transpose of this this is 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 if you add them they are the result is 3 by 2 S 
similarly for the query we are going to take this input this input you multiply it by the query weight this 2 by 2 1 you add it with the bias of the query and the dimension of the input is 2 by 2 the same input like this one that we, are, we used here multiplied by the 2 by 2 this one is 2 by 2 plus 2 by 1 we are going to take the transpose this is 3 by 2 <coughs> plus 1 by 2 after taking the transpose and the result is 3 by 2 all right finally the uh the value you take the same input this one and multiply it by the weight of the value plus the bias of the value there's two by one and the dimension of the input is three by two plus the uh, the weight of the value is two by two but we are going to take the transpose plus two by one transpose and this is three by two plus 1 by 2 after taking the transpose and the result is 2 3 by 2 all right so we need to divide by the square root of e so pytorch actually instead of multiplying this by this and dividing by square root of e it uh, divides q by square root of e square root of 2 and the dimension after doing this operation it's not going to change it's still 3 by 2 3 by 2 all right so i need a new paper here so you can see right okay okay so i think uh, we should write like the formula again it is a soft max of q square root of e multiplied by v so we have already done this part this part no no we have not done we, we have to uh, multiply q times k transpose so q times k transpose is we have just actually just computed q k and v so we multiply q by k transpose and dimension of dimension of q 3 by 2 multiplied by uh, 2 by 3 after taking the transpose of the key and it is 3 by 3 next uh, so we have kind of computed this we need to push this into a softmax after pushing the soft into a softmax the dimension doesn't change okay maybe i should um, like this dimension is not going to change right it's, it's still like three by three and the softmax maybe i can just write the softmax is like e to the power z i divide by the summation j to k e to the z j uh, okay let's actually write the softmax after pushing it into the softmax uh, you might have something like this the result after the softmax 0 0.1 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.7 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.1 and the dimension as i said doesn't change is still 3 by 3 in other words l by l so like this is like this actually i am good if you can remember the input sentence so this 0 0.1 0 0.1 is like the amount of attention i pays to itself 0 0.3 is the amount of attention m pays to i 0 0.4 this 0 0.4 is the amount of attention m pays to good 
All right, so we need to compute the final output. Final output. Uh, is so you know we have computed this and let's call this attention ATT so it is ATT multiplied by V this ATT is okay uh, it's like this one multiplied by like V this is 3 by 3 multiplied by 3 by 2 and this is 3 by 2 the output but like this is not the final output of this layer uh, PyTorch actually creates some random weights that it's going to multiply this by to get the final final output so I said final but this one is actually the final final output so PyTorch creates this output, final output weights of dimension uh, e by e, in other words, two by two, and also the final output bias of dimension e by one, which is two by one. All right, so the final output, I mean, the real final output is something like this. What you do is you take this, this one, you multiply it by the W out, W out, tensor, plus the bias of this, this bias. Dimension of this, if this is three by two, obviously, plus this weight is two by two. We are going to take the transpose plus two by one dot transpose. This is three by two plus one by two, and the final is three by two. It's your final output of this layer, which you can push into further layers for further processing. Thank you.